to Addition to the Wild, Saltwater and Freshwater Fishing. What up, y'all? What up, y'all? It's your boy Les, and this to the wow back again. All right, a lot of people was asking me, you use a jig hair to catch the fly and jig hair, man? What's up with that? How are you catching these fly with these jig hairs? All right, number one, I'm working on different jig hairs. What I definitely found out this year and last year about the different jig hairs is the quality of jig hairs. That's number one, the quality of jig hairs. All right, right here I have this called the Hurricane. Hurricane jig head. This is a quarter ounce right here. And now I'm gonna take one out. That's what it looked like. It's the regular jig head, and it's affected. It's affected. I ain't gonna lie. It's affected. I caught some on here though. But the only thing about this is that flounder know how to throw this shit off. That shake, boom, you lose your damn flounder. There's some videos I did, I lost my flowers and all that. I'm like, damn man, what the hell is going on? Because they're not to shake this hook. You know, but it's good though. It's cheap. You know, you go to Walmart, you get this cheap. I, I, if, if I believe it's right, it might be like $1.99, some stuff like that. It's cheap, and you get a whole bunch. You get a whole bunch inside a um, box. That's the thing about it. Now, the other stuff I have been using is pretty good. It's called, it's called the Strike King right here. Strike King. Now, let's go ahead and look at this right now. Okay, I'm gonna open this thing up right here real quick. I'll go ahead and pack this up real quick. Put this thing on so tight on your butt, man. Like, you think somebody's gonna rob him or whatever. But, okay, here we go. I'm gonna grab one out for y'all real quick. Okay, same thing, this is a quarter. Now, if you look at both of them, I'm gonna show you, that's a quarter right there. And this say a quarter right there. Okay, quarter, quarter. Let me get the jig out right here. Quarter, quarter. Now, if you look at both of them, look at the different of them, whatever. All right. Now, you see the different of that? Now, this hook right here is more longer and it's more sharper. You hear the keyword? More sharper than this hook. This hook over here, the other hurricane, it's not that sharp. It's not that sharp and all that stuff. So, when I went into investigate this stuff and I tried out, have people told me, they said, yo man, use these hooks, use these hooks, they better. Try it out, boom. I was laying the flowers and stuff, they were catching them, and they was not popping the um, you know, popping the hook out of their mouth. And I was like, wow, this is the this is the stuff. And then I just like how the design looks, you know, the eyes and all that stuff though. A little, little bit more realer than it's just the red eye little thing they got going on. Now, people ask me in my area area what type of jig head color do you like right here baby you see they both right here that neon green or short troop stuff right here this this is the truth right here if you want to catch me some flutter man this is what i like to use right here even when i put it on goat when i put it on goat too it's the same thing the goat is the white goat with the um green back tail of the shrimp kind it's the same stuff man flutter light they eat it up that's what you gotta that's what you gotta get out there, alright? So if y'all have any questions out there about the jig heads or anything about the flounder fishing, man, hit me up. You know I'm just your boy Les. Over 18,000 subscribers. Thanks to all my fans out there. Y'all loving me. I'm gonna keep on fishing and all that. Hey, keep it going, y'all. Catch some fish out there. Alright, peace out. <laughs>